All right, probably it's now time for pick three from our four pack at TBS. We go to the night sessions here. FAU uh, here. Uh, listen, uh, they they deserve to be here. They've been they've been they've been playing really well the, the entire season here, facing a tough out here. Tennessee, Tennessee, five and a half total, one thirty and a half. Uh, yeah, I mean this is a I think an example of uh, you know a, a, a team that is getting a lot of love from the public. And I think FAU is a very uh, visible public underdog in, the, in this game. And uh, another reason why I'm going to fade him uh, on this one, I think Tennessee has one of the best defenses in the country. Uh, they play, they, they played a much, much tougher schedule than FAU has, you know, even touched this year. Uh, Tennessee's played, you know, grind in the SEC all year round. And, uh, you, you know, Tennessee is allowed, you know, under 60 points, you know, in the first two tournament games. And even though FAU does shoot the ball pretty well from three, I just I, I don't I don't see them being able to get off enough uh, you know shots with the type of pressure that they're going to be under, uh, especially with the size that Tennessee presents uh, on the defensive side of the ball too. So uh, I, I think the, the ball is going to win this one pretty comfortably. I would say by by ten uh, or, or maybe more. All right, uh, we got probably here Tennessee lay the five and a half here against FAU, and of course the FAU. Uh, you know, got a little break there after beating Memphis, and Memphis kind of threw that one away. And, and it's not surprising because this has always been a sloppy team. They've been high on turnovers. Uh, you know, the, uh, you know, it's just you know, you know, you got the NBA style coach, but these aren't NBA players. They need a lot more coaching and a lot more teaching. You know, I think uh, in, in this league with some of these uh, NBA players coaching these teams, uh, they they got to show a bit better on the court. A little sloppy there, but if you got through it, but then again against Fairleigh Dickinson, didn't cover that game. They were a double digit favorite, covered half the spread. And again, you shoot just forty-one percent against Fairleigh Dickinson. <laughs> but by the way, Tony, what's up with Memphis? I mean, they they seem to have historic collapses in the the NCAA tournament constantly, right? Like the one time in the finals against Kansas. Oh and, yeah. You know, they're, they're a, real, a real disappointment for me this year. I thought that they were going to do much better, but yeah, but they they, they collapsed against uh, uh, against FAU as well. But uh, yeah, again, I, th I think Tennessee is what, you know, when, another interesting fact is Tennessee is 18-4 and four when they're favored by 250 or more on the money line this year. So, uh, obviously, they've been favored quite a bit. Uh, they've been one of the better teams in, in uh, the country all year round. So, uh, I, again, I think they're just more battle-tested to uh, to be able to, to win this game than, than uh, FAU is. All right, we got uh, uh, probably here on Tennessee here, laying the five and a half here against FAU. Of course, so you guys have seen the great record from the NBA here from uh, probably go ahead and get signed up for his long-term pass. The three-day pass will get you. It's a good way to go as well. And use our promo code TONYT at checkout, and you'll be able to save uh, 20% off there at checkout. So check him out there right on our site, TonySpicks.com. Uh, probably some merch to join us here on, uh, on his segment here. 